Why is my teen's ADHD so much worse lately? Hi, my name is Catherine, and I'm a therapist with Mindful Healing. We're approaching spring and summertime, and that means that a lot of people with ADHD are experiencing a big kick up in their symptoms. Why? This is particularly true for teens. When it comes to ADHD, one of the things that always needs to be taken into account is environment. Teens with ADHD have no walls on their brain. They're very easily influenced by the environment and situations around them. This means that when the months get warmer and school starts winding down, a lot of teens with ADHD experience an increase in their symptoms, even if they're medically or medicationally managed. This could be things like having a harder time completing tasks, being more distracted, being more forgetful. All of these things can become extremely overwhelming and extremely frustrating. And sometimes to parents or to teachers, it seems like a choice. It seems like teens are struggling to finish out the end of the school year because it's so close to being over, they can't bother to stay invested. And a lot of the times, that's just not true. ADHD is extremely environmentally uh, influenced. And because of this, things like changes in the weather, big changes like warming months, cause our brains to need to recalibrate. They start taking into account things that technically aren't new or different because we've seen them before, but to an ADHD brain is extremely stimulating. All of a sudden, the birds are chirping. All of a sudden, the sun is shining. The wind is blowing. The temperature is warmer. All of these changes barrel through the brain and essentially overload it with a lot of stimulus. This means that our attention is not as good. Our emotional space is a little more cluttered and you may experience teens with shorter attention spans, less motivation, maybe even quicker tempers. All of these things will pass as the brain adjusts to the new situation, the new season. But it will also require some patience on the part of teachers and parents and some effort on the part of our teens. If we are conscious of the fact that maybe we're in a point where we're a little more overstimulated than usual and with school coming so close to an end, it can be tantalizingly difficult to not lean into it. But if we can ride it out for a few weeks, we'll find that our brains settle back down again. We adjust to the t new temperatures and all of the new distractions. The important part during these few weeks is engaging in a lot of self-compassion, understanding that this isn't your fault. You're not bad at things. You're not easily distracted. You're overstimulated. And if you can make some time to be kind to yourself, enjoy a little nice weather, find good ways to cope with both needing to do homework and needing to go outside and feel that breeze on your face, then you will find that the transition isn't as tough as you thought it would be. For more information on how changes in season and approaching the end of the school year can affect ADHD, reach out to Mindful Healing. Thanks.